Hello everybody, this is Ton Ton here and I have a brand new product to show you guys today. So as you all know, since 2008, Iron Man has become a well-known figure by the acting of Robert Downey Jr. I am Iron Man. And of course the design, with a really modern and realistic design, the suit of armor has become one of the favorite collectible items amongst the us the collectors. And today I have a brand new thing to show you guys. Actually, that is not really new, but it's rather a helmet by Hasbro. This is the Mark 7 helmet from The Avengers of 2012. So here we have the box and this is the big picture of the product. Here we have Marvel Iron Man. Legend series from Hasbro and as you all clearly see this is a product made for adults and this product requires three AAA batteries which is not included so you have to buy them separately to fully engage with the uh, voice and light function turn it to the size yeah, just we have a, just a picture of the product and here as you can see this is all the features so we have here is premium role play helmet you have two LED eyes here this is like premium finish magnetized faceplate this is adjustable to fit the most head size so you have a strap and I will go into the details later and this is the sound effects that comes from the speaker down here and if you turn it to the just size it's just another Iron Man face yeah. And that would be the head. Now let's get to the product itself. Cracking the box, here we have the helmet itself, and it does come with a manual. But then I don't know for most of the parts, as you can see here, this manual is mostly in Chinese, and I don't really speak Chinese unless you check out my Bumblebee helmet video. Link is in the description. That is a video where I speak a lot of Chinese. And this is just like how you play with it like that but that is nothing spectacular so here we have the mark 7 helmet and to be precisely said i don't really know which mark it is but i'm just gonna call it mark 7 because the iron man design from the earlier years are mostly basically the only difference is the part of the helmet but then the helmet itself is not really different at all so you can see that this is have a new uh, chest plate there are new app reactor and that is a new mark but for the helmet it just stays the same so yeah i don't quite confusing but anyway back to the product as you can see here this is a really nice premium version of the helmet this is really movie accurate and it had all the features of iron man such as the hot rod red and the gold color but here the hot rod red color here is just more of a normal red color because I guess this is for the price and the paint job and also it's cheaper than most of the product because I had another Iron Man helmet at home and that is the Mark 46 it has a really nice hot rod metallic color but then the price is a lot higher so I guess this is for everyone to afford it and for the most part the face plate is one of the nice thing I love about this because it is not too shiny but rather be the color of gold and titanium and I really love that otherwise you had a little bit of details onto the cheek this is a little bit of gray area here and I really love that features because it just highlights the helmet the eyes is uh, clear plastic but it will be better for the LED function later on so here we have the helmet itself and I'm gonna go into separate parts because it actually can put into two pieces so this is the helmet, the faceplate, I'd rather call it. So this is the basic faceplate of Iron Man. And you have all seen in the previous rotation scene. But flip it onto the back and you can see that there are a lot of details over here. This is all the mechanic details here. That is really nice. And this piece here are for the magnets, the magnetized features. And this is for your head, your eyes. Actually, your eyes are going to go in here. And that is really nice. And what I love about this is the magnetized feature. So you can actually be creating this by just putting it. Let me see. This is rather difficult. I tried this a lot of many times but in here. So here we have the opening face here. And that looks really movie accurate. And I really enjoy the features of it. I mean, the 
at this at this mode here i don't think that you can uh, access any sound effects because the actual it has to be connected by this pin over here up to this over here down here so they have to be connected in order for you to have the sound effects and one more down thing that i noticed with this piece is this the problem pin tripping as you can see over here because the magnet they scratch on it so the end result is the pin trip but then i guess there's nothing else i can do about it so put it back that will be the effects but that is for later on i'm gonna remove this and put it here for now and now we go to the helmet itself so in order to wear it you okay uh, you need to remove this piece and tap them so it actually have more space for your head to come in and then you're just gonna put it back and talking about the inside as you can see here we have a lot of straps and string over here so this is for adjusting so your head will fit and that's really nice also the details on here I'll try to bring them up onto the cameras as you can see here I put some lights and there are a lot of mechanical details over here that is totally unnecessary but they did it and I really appreciate that and you have some warning over here but I will put a picture on it later on so you can create the warning so if you adjust the strap there's this here this level here so you just rotate it and it will tighten up and loosen it up like that you have the strap over here to adjust the height and also you can unstrap this piece over here so like that so you can actually adjust the size of your head uh, that is really nice it will fit perfectly onto your head so this is the batteries department so that requires three triple a and this is the button as well as for the sound effects and the LED function so when you put the helmet on it could make this noise and the eyes will be light enough if, if you remove it same one and unfortunately that will be the only sound effects you get the other feature is the lighten of the LED so now I'm gonna turn off the light a little bit so you can see so here we can adjust using the same buttons we can adjust the brightness of the eye one level two level then turn off completely but if you turn it on again it will come like that so is this piece worth buying i said yes because i know that there are a lot of collectors who would want a replica of the iron man helmet which is a very signature item of the marvel cinematic universe but then again a lot of third parties has done this but then they are the price are really high or as you know there are a lot of toys version but with this one has brought new both of it you got the nice aspect as the realistic design and the perfect scale and uh, the scale is also perfect for a one-on-one -on -one helmet so that will be my review today this is the marvel legend series iron man helmet replica one-on-one -on -one. so this is a really good piece so if you're any iron man hardcore fan or mcu hardcore fan you can always purchase this and let it be the highlight of your collection but then again i will be noticed that the price of this piece is unfortunately quite high at this moment so it will be around 200 dollars for this i bought it a few years early on and this is really cheap so that will be it for today so be sure to put a comment in the comment section below and follow me on instagram i leave the link on my instagram in the description as well and so I'll see you guys later. Tonton out.